In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to automatically insert a date and timestamp in Google Sheets. This is a handy feature, especially if you're tracking changes or logging entries and need an accurate record of when things were updated or added. The great thing about this process is that it's automatic, using a couple of nifty functions in Google Sheets. Let's dive right into it. The first thing we're going to do is use a nested IF statement, which means we'll have one IF statement within another. This might sound a bit complicated at first, but don't worry. We'll break it down step by step to make it really easy to understand. Let's start with the outer IF statement, which checks for our trigger. So what exactly is this trigger? In our case, the trigger is when we add something new to specific cells. We're focusing on cells in column C here. This setup helps us pinpoint exactly where we want the action of timestamping to begin. Next up, we need to check if our trigger cells are blank. That's where the IS blank function comes in. We select the cell in column C that we're interested in and use IS blank to see if there's anything there or not. If the cell isn't blank, this will act as our cue to proceed with the timestamp. Now let's talk about what happens once we've determined that the cell isn't blank. Here comes the fun part with our nested IF statement. For the true condition, which means the cell is not blank, we refer to the cell column designated for our timestamp. Let's say that's column B. We use B3B to specify the range we're working in. For the false statement of our first IF condition, if we find the cell still blank, we'll need to input another IF function to handle this seamlessly. This second IF checks the timestamp column itself. For the true part of this condition, we continue referencing our timestamp column. For the false statement, and here's where everything falls into place, we utilize the now function. The now function dynamically generates the current date and time, which is perfect for keeping our timestamps accurate and up to date. Finally, to make this entire operation continuous and efficient across our range, we wrap our combined formula in the array formula function. With this function, pressing enter enables this formula on any cell we enter data into within the trigger column. It's a smart way to automatically fill our spreadsheet with timestamps each time an entry is made in column C. And there you have it, a fully automated way to insert dates and timestamps in Google Sheets. By understanding and using these formulas, you can streamline tracking processes with ease. I hope this tutorial helps you harness the power of Google Sheets to make your work more efficient and organised. Thanks for tuning in and happy data handling.